Gray's disorder can, of course, be seen as part of the postmodern condition, a society where one isn't socially acceptable unless one is being cynical and ironic and detached from one's emotions all the time. You see, the one time Ray seemed to fit in, I remember, was when he found himself at a media party in a Soho wine bar. Yeah. So, right, so has anyone seen Edward Scissorhands? Oh, what a great film. Oh, I was in tears. <laughs> yeah, I cried for ages. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I really think so. Yeah, so do I. Oh, yeah, the tragic outcast in a cruel world that doesn't understand him. Yeah, I really relate to that bit as well. <laughs> and what about that moving scene? Hold me, I can't. Oh, boo-hoo-hoo! Oh, wah! Have you got it as well? No, 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 but Jason hasn't. He's not even gay. <laughs> In a flash of insight, I arranged for Ray to have a deaf foster mum, which was a perfect relationship, and they would chat for hours. Although Ray almost jeopardised things with that strange tick he had developed at the time. And my most precious moment back then, Ray, was when I actually met Paul McCartney. No, I did. He was a lovely bloke. Although later this became unsuitable as the lady in question had a somewhat prodigious love life and Ray ended up being neglected, which was an absolute disgrace. Anyway, it was also around about this time that a friend gave him a present a long player by a group called, somewhat ironically, as this was a, a breakthrough of sorts, The Cure. <laughs> and Ray, who had a deep love for the group, was so moved by this and so desperate to thank his friend without sounding sarcastic that a very strange thing happened. <laughs> he started speaking Flemish. <laughs> Mamma! 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 Interest in Ray's condition had now spread amongst the psychoanalytic community following the publication of my paper about him called Are You Taking the Piss or What? Uh, he says you uh, have a very nice beard. Um, he is happy at last being able to communicate. It is Ray's like... Flemish was getting on well and it seemed he may yet have a glorious future amongst the Belgian farming community. <laughs> when sadly, the inevitable happened. I'll have you know I'm a very good translator. Pissing off to you! <laughs> Ray became very down after this latest setback and I never saw him again. Although I did receive a postcard from him in which he wrote that at least he'd had a chance meeting with his hero. The, I gather, vocal lead of his favourite group. Son has got his hat on hip, 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 hip. <laughs> Oh, oh God, it's Robert Smith. Oh, I'm so excited. Lost in a forest. I love that. You're my hero. No, what a personal disaster. <laughs>